The ANC in Gauteng is staging a protest at the ENCA offices in Hyde Park over an alleged case of racism. This after video footage of ENCA political reporter Lindsay Dentlicker uh, interviewing Freedom Front Plus leader Peter Hunnefeld uh, and the DA's John Stenazen without their masks emerged on social media while she requested several black political leaders, including UDM Chief Whip Kabayomzi Kwankwa, to keep theirs on while speaking to her. The ANC says it's deep disturbed by the undertones displayed by Dentlicker's unwarranted behaviour. Well, for more on this, we cross to our reporter, Nosipo Mube. Uh, thanks very much for joining us, Nosipo. What's happening where you are? Very good afternoon to you. Well, as you have mentioned, we are outside the e-media uh, offices in Hyde Park where we've just seen members of the ANC, uh, the Deputy Secretary General, uh, Jesse Duarte, as well as Numfula Mokonyane um, and other members of the ANC are picketing outside the offices. Uh, as we know that it's a nationwide picket where uh, they have mentioned that in other parts of the country, such as in Tswane, uh, they've also visited uh, the offices of the Human Rights Commission or a nearby police station. Uh, where they will be picketing uh, in response to what we have seen taking place in the past week where uh, an ENCA political reporter, Lindsay Dentlinger, um, in, in several occasions was seen uh, uh, requesting for uh, some members of the uh, 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 parliament, uh, that being UDM MP Ngabayomzi Kwankwa, uh, as well as IFP MP Mkulego Tlengo, to wear their mask, uh, whereas he, she did not request uh, for the DA's uh, John Steen has as well as FF Plus Peter Grunewald to wear their masks. So uh, that did co uh, cause uh, some outrage across the country, uh, including within the ANC, as we've heard today, uh, from uh, the, the Deputy Secretary General, Jesse Duarte, who was uh, expressing her disappointment uh, with the ENCA. Uh, uh, moreover, the, 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 the response uh, from the institution with regard to what has taken place, uh, saying that uh, they call for training of their media practitioners, uh, their journalists as well as other uh, media workers within the institution to receive some sort of uh, uh, training with regard to dealing with uh, issues of racism as well as the withdrawal of the statement that they had released uh, in response to the incident as well as the outrage. Um, so they did hand over that memorandum to uh, the uh, uh, managing director, Norman uh, uh, Munjarele, uh, who did receive the, 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 the memorandum um, with a, a few uh, demands from the ANC, one of which, as I mentioned now, is the withdrawal of the statement, uh, an apology, uh, sending journalists uh, for training, uh, acknowledging the history of racism with the institution is another thing that uh, the ANC uh, Deputy uh, uh, Secretary General did bring up, saying that uh, she has had conversations with journalists within the institution, most of which are black, uh, that have complained about racism within the institution. So uh, she has called for uh, the broadcaster to look into that, uh, as well as issue an unambiguous commitment uh, to the removal of racism, uh, racism rather, within the institution. So that's what came out of the meeting with ENC. NCA today. Uh, we will also just hear from uh, the other regions as to what took place uh, as well as the way forward uh, with the ENCA and their response to what has taken place uh, nationwide today. Thank you very much for that report. Nosipo Nube reporting for, for us in Johannesburg at the ENCA headquarters.